Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 20th of June 2023. So I watched a video from Inspired, which is a quite a big channel on this platform. Although to be fair, I haven't actually seen his videos for a good while. I don't know why they just haven't been appearing in my YouTube feed, etc. But he made a video recently, I think it's about a week ago, where he was talking about how the world, or at least the Western world, has reached, in his view, a kind of a certain critical mass where change, and I'm talking about positive change, is now going to be unstoppable. He starts his video with a few statistics about how so few people now totally trust the government and the mainstream media, you know, those numbers are ridiculously small, historically small now, and increasing percentages of people are now homeschooling their kids, growing vegetables, etc. That's why I'm positive, that's why the powers that shouldn't be are muttering on about restricting bringing in restrictions against homeschooling and growing your own vegetables because they wouldn't be doing that unless they saw a critical mass was being approached you know if it's only a few handful of cranks homeschooling their kids and growing their own food they wouldn't be bothered would they so all of these things we're seeing where they're talking about these things i think is proof positive that they are worried and that a critical mass is approaching and also he was talking about how about 80 percent of americans because this really relates to these figures that he talks about relates to the usa but it also really relates to the rest well many other countries as well but apparently 80 plus percent of americans now believe in god or a grand creator or are in some ways spiritual now so it's a very much growing trend and again that's probably why the powers that shouldn't be are ramp ramping up all of the satanic stuff all of these stupid events and ceremonies and awards you know dues where yeah you know, we've sort of seen them quite a lot in recent months haven't we uh, uh, sam smith and all of the other idiots kind of really going to town with the satanic stuff to really a, an obvious degree now and that is again an overreaction to you know these figures and uh, uh this critical mass and then one thing he says towards the end of his video and this is something i am going to endorse and wholeheartedly agree with is if you've done anything in the last three years which has been uncomfortable you have done your part in raising this awareness this spiritual awareness and achieving this kind of critical mass that we're getting to so that goes for pretty much anything anything that you did that was uncomfortable or had uncomfortable consequences or even anything that you didn't do that had uncomfortable consequences you know what i'm talking about there right <laughs> uh anything that involves some kind of discomfort physical discomfort emotional emotional discomfort financial discomfort it's all played a part and i'm talking about everything from that post you put on facebook that brought you ridicule those comments you made uh to friends and family that did the same thing brought the same thing uh even going to all of the events up in london there and all of the other cities around the uk and around the world uh the you know the marches and everything that's involved a fair bit of discomfort hasn't it um and yeah you know, time and effort and money yeah you've got to you've got train fares you've got to get up there 
you spend a fair few hours getting up there, hanging around before the things start, and then experiencing it, you know, experiencing it all, and then coming home again. It's pretty much the whole Saturday done by the time you've done that. So any kind of effort like that that you've put in has, I think, uh, you know, contributed to this you know, you know, kind of point that we're getting to of reaching this critical mass of people, the general population, realising that things just aren't right and people realising that we need to have change. So the only thing I'd say that we need to be on our guard uh, about or against is we need to make sure this kind of change goes in the right direction and that uh, the whole thing's not hijacked by some ne- you know, ne'er-do-wells or sort of agents of the powers that shouldn't be who are just going to further it, uh, use it to further their own ends. We need to make sure it goes in the right direction. But I believe many people are just being automatically guided on that anyway. Uh, you know, whether it's just putting a, a few potatoes into the ground in their gardens, whether it's homeschooling their kids or starting to look into the homeschooling of their kids. I think there is an, an awareness of we, we just need to, you know, sort of take our trusts and our belief in the old systems away and come up with our own new systems. And it's happening. I keep reporting all the time on the way you know, awareness is rising and you know, things that people are doing out there, amazing things that people are doing out there, which is going to challenge the system and is going to affect change. So, yeah, I, I, think, I really do think it's happening. I'm often accused on this channel of being overly optimistic totally hold hold my hands up to that it's an accusation i'm happy to wear just purely and simply because i've believed all along even in the darkest days that we would eventually win this thing and it seems i'm not the only optimist around this guy from inspired puts out a very optimistic message so I'm not going to go on too much longer. I'm going to let you go and watch his message. It's only about a 15 minute long film or not much more than that. But I think it will cheer you up. It will cheer you up greatly. And like I say, if you've done anything that's made you uncomfortable or if you've done anything where just not doing that thing would have been way easier if you know if you chose the harder thing the harder course of action in the last three years i think you can be justifiably extremely proud of yourself and you know you are or have played your part in this change for good that i believe is coming and i don't think it's going to be too long until it comes Oh, by the way, the link to that uh, film by Inspired will be in the description box below here. So uh, look out for that. And also I'll put it in the comments section as well. And I'll be back with you tomorrow. Tim from Fair Play Now. Thanks for watching.